I think about the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints rivalry is we don't like them. It's one of those things that it's a love-hate relationship because you know what's going to happen. A little something extra to it, you know, a little more trash talking, a little, a little more chippiness, a little more edge to that game. When that week comes around, it feels a little bit different. The hair stands up on your back a little bit more. You just don't feel good when you walk on the field and you see him. It's a hate. It's them versus us. It's Atlanta versus New Orleans. It's our food versus their food. It's our music versus their music. It's our culture versus their culture. If your juices aren't naturally flowing, then why the hell are you even here? Every time these two franchises get together, it's going to be something crazy to happen. Every game, every time you play those guys, I mean, it's, it's, it's more. That game definitely means a lot more, and you circle it, and you know when it's going to happen. Great rivalry, great fight every time we play. Scrappy, both fan bases hate each other. So you know those are, the, those are the games, you know, it's going to be a fight. It's something about the Saints that bring the best out of you. Who wins that game is, is who played the hardest in the fourth quarter. We knew we had to give everything we had to win this football game because it's going to go to, it was four quarters, 60 minutes, every single time. It was going to be gritty, it was going to be nasty, it was going to be dirty, it was going to be hype. The Saints-Falcons rivalry has become the way it is because it started out mainly as a regional rivalry. Other than the Miami Dolphins, the Saints and Falcons were the only two professional teams pretty much in the Southeast. When you go back to the early days, uh, the Falcons and Saints, when they joined in the mid-60s, those are two teams that were just trying to keep their head above water. For the most part, over the last 15 years, these two teams have been playing to determine who's in the playoffs and who's not. There's been a lot of tense moments where it's tip balls that have caught to win games, field goals that win games, late drives to win games. Atlanta is a winner in New Orleans. And that's blocked, and it'll be scooped up in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans, and it's Curtis Deloach. Well, the block punt has given New Orleans even more momentum than they had. But this is one that is so nurtured in the soil, like a lot of the parochial feelings between these two cities in this region in the Southeast. Hey, if nobody else in the country wants to pay attention to it, this is ours. The hoodats and the rise ups, we'll take it like nobody else. Let us put some lanyap on this one every time these teams square off. I always gave them a shot upside the jaw or something like that just to let them know I was around. And I mean, every possession mattered when you're playing a team like that. You can't, you can't, every possession, every play mattered. It's the back and forth. It's not a one-sided matchup. New Orleans, Atlanta. New Orleans, Atlanta. Atlanta, New Orleans, Atlanta, New Orleans. When you play them, everything's on the line. Falcon vs. Saints, we gotta win that one. That's the one you gotta book the chin strap up for. As every game that you approach in the National Football League, you, you wanna approach with your best and you wanna, wanna always be prepared. But there's just something about those witchcraft people down there in the bayou, the New Orleans Saints, that make the Atlanta folks just quiver a little bit. We don't, oh, we just don't, we don't like them. We don't. Still to this day, ATLian, baby, it's gonna never be questioned. It's on. We really.